What's up guys, RGT85 here, and today on the channel we're going to be going over Nintendo's latest financial report for the physical year of 2018, the first six months of it, ending on September 30th, 2018. There's a lot of interesting information here, some of the stuff we'll go over, some of the stuff we won't. If you guys want all the nitty gritty details of it, I'll have a link to the PDF file in the description box down below, but I wanted to go over some highlights with you guys because there's some pretty interesting information coming out of Nintendo for the first half of their physical year 2018. 2018, and of course the future, the rest of the six months for 2018. One of the big questions is how is the Nintendo Switch selling? Nintendo wanted to move 20 million units in the physical year of 2018, and will they be able to do that? Honestly, with this new information, probably not, but I think that's okay. So what's going on in the world of Nintendo? That's what we're about to find out. So sit back, relax, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and let's go over these stale statistics. Hey, RGT85, hey Sean. Oh my God, it's Stevie Richards! So first up, I want to go over sales figures for Nintendo Switch first party games from Nintendo. Now all of these sales figures are based on Nintendo's shipped figures, basically shipped to retailers so that they get their money. So it's not really necessarily indicative of what they sell at retail, but as far as Nintendo is concerned, this is sold product. This is product that was sold to retailers. What retailers decide to do with them and price them and sell them at is up to them. So all of these statistics will be based on that information. The number one selling game for the Nintendo Switch is still Super Mario. Mario Odyssey with now 12.17 million units sold and honestly it deserves it it's still my favorite game on the Nintendo Switch I think it's still the best game on the Nintendo Switch yes better than Breath of the Wild it's close it's close but I have to give the nod to Super Mario Odyssey next up Mario Kart 8 Deluxe with 11.71 million units sold Zelda Breath of the Wild at 10.28 million Splatoon 2 at 7.47 million 1-2 Switch at 2.64 million Mario Tennis Aces with 2.16 million sold, and that's a pretty impressive number for Mario Tennis Aces. Honestly, I still have not picked up that game yet. I need to. Maybe there'll be a good Black Friday sale or something like that, because it seems like a game that Nintendo is supporting really well. They've done a lot of free DLC with the game, added in new characters and new game modes, so I definitely want need to end up checking out that game. It was just sort of busy when that game came out, and I never got around to picking it up. Next up, we have ARMS at 2.1 million. Kirby Star Allies also at 2.1 million. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze at 1.67 million. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 at 1.53 million. So pretty much, you know, what we'd expect to see from Nintendo when it comes to software sales for the Nintendo Switch. It seems like the better games, except for 1-2 Switch being on there. Of course, that was a launch title. It seems like the better games from Nintendo are doing well. I'm kind of surprised that Hyrule Warriors isn't on this list, the definitive edition for the Nintendo Switch. I would be curious to see how that game has been selling. I would have to assume it would be over a million sold but without it being on this list we don't really know so overall some pretty impressive sales figures for Nintendo Switch game sales from first party games from Nintendo Next up, if you watch my Nintendo Direct rumor video, you would know that one of the things I thought we could potentially see is a Direct on the Mario Kart Mobile game. Because, let's face it, it was something that was allegedly supposed to come out this fiscal year, we haven't heard anything about it, and it's been pretty quiet, but Nintendo actually did comment on Mario Kart Mobile in their latest financial briefing. In our smart device business during this fiscal year, we plan to release the Mario Kart application for smart devices, Mario Kart Tour, while also focusing on service operations for the applications we have have already released so that consumers can enjoy playing them for a long time. So it does look like Mario Kart Tour is still coming out. I definitely want to see something from that game. I want to see how it's sort of going to work. Will they use like gyro controls in it or things like that? Because most cell phones do have a gyro meter built into it. So I think that's going to be pretty interesting. They broke down a lot of information on uh, mobile things such as Super Mario Run, Dragalia Lost, and Fire Emblem, the Fire Emblem mobile game. So like I said, that information isn't all that interesting to me. I will have the the link in the description box to the PDF file if you want to go over that. So check that out if you're interested, but it's nice to see that Mario Kart Tour is still coming out this year because I think it has some good potential. One sort of question mark when it comes to Nintendo is the future of the Nintendo 3DS. Obviously the system has been out since 2011 and has had a very long lifespan and considering that the Nintendo
Nintendo Switch is also a portable device. It's kind of weird to have two portable devices going along side by side each other. True, one can play, be played on your television, but still, it's kind of weird, and a lot of people are hoping that Nintendo phases out the 3DS. If you are one of those people, though, I have some bad news for you. It looks like Nintendo is still planning to support the 3DS. Affordability is a strong point that positions the Nintendo 3DS in a niche, clearly separate from Nintendo Switch. In the grand scheme of things, Nintendo 3DS has been a prominent position as the product that can be served as the first contact between Nintendo and many of its consumers, and for this reason, we will keep the business going. I really don't know how I feel about that. I honestly feel like the Nintendo 3DS has had a great life cycle. It's been a phenomenal system, but it's definitely time to sort of phase it out. I think the Nintendo Switch should be the focus of the company, and that's what they should be focusing 100% of their efforts on. Third-party companies can, of course, still do games for the Nintendo Switch. I, I mean, for the Nintendo 3DS, obviously a lot of RPGs and smaller projects end up coming to the system, but I definitely don't want to see bigger projects end up on the Nintendo 3DS in 2019 and beyond, because honestly, it just sort of feels like a waste. You have this Nintendo Switch, it has a better screen, it's a better system, a more powerful system, so all efforts should be focused on that instead of the 3DS, but that's just my opinion. Do you think that they should continue to support the Nintendo 3DS? Let me know in the comments below. Super Mario Party on the Nintendo Switch is a game that we reviewed on the channel that I thought was pretty good. It's definitely a step in the right direction for the Mario Party franchise. A lot of good mini games. I just wish there was more online stuff for those of us who don't have local friends and family to play this game with all the time. But it seems like this game has been selling very, very well. Between the initial release and October 5th, the game has exceeded 1.5 million units sold. So that's pretty fast for a Super Mario Party game. I didn't really expect this game to do all that great in terms of sales, but it's definitely very impressive to see. Another game that has been doing very well on the Nintendo Switch is actually Fortnite. Over half of Nintendo Switch owners have downloaded Fortnite since it has came out. And obviously, Fortnite is definitely a guilty pleasure game of mine. I do enjoy playing that game from time to time. You know, the new little Halloween mode is pretty cool as well. So definitely very interesting to see. Another market that seems to be doing very, very well is the retro gaming plug and play classic lineup of things. Obviously, the PlayStation Classic will be releasing the first week of December. December. A lot of people are looking forward to that, myself included. But the NES Classic and the SNES Classic were definitely very hot items, and they seem to still be very hot items. As of now, it has the, combined, the NES and the SNES Classic have sold over 10 million units. Over 10 million units for these plug-and-play consoles. So definitely a lot of people are picking these up on impulse. I think a lot of people are enjoying these things. It's a great way to sort of get back into gaming, or if you just want to play games from your childhood, or if you just want to introduce these games to a new audience so it's definitely great to see those systems doing so well I definitely really enjoy them and I definitely think we need to start getting information on the N64 classic it's pretty obvious that it's coming I think Nintendo just needs to lift the veil on it obviously we had some leaked photos that could be real could not be real but I definitely want the N64 classic and I think things like the success of the NES and the SNES classic will definitely give us more classic systems from Nintendo and finally, the Nintendo Switch system sales. Will they be able to sell 20 million units this physical year? Well, let's talk about what they've sold so far. So between the start of the physical year and September 30th, the Nintendo Switch has sold over 5 million units, 5.07 million units sold, which is a 3.7% increase on a year-to-year -year basis. Now the Nintendo Switch sits at 22.86 million units sold, which surpasses the Nintendo GameCube, which sold 20 1.74 million units. So Nintendo Switch is doing very well. Obviously, if they're up year to year, that's pretty impressive considering 2017 software lineup was undoubtedly a bit stronger for Nintendo when it came to first party titles on the system. If it's up 5% or 3.7% on a year to year basis, that's a very positive thing. But let's be honest here. If they're sitting at 5.07 million units sold for the first six months, that would mean they would have to sell 15 million units to hit that 20 million unit goal in the next six months. Is it doable? Maybe. Obviously, titles like Pokemon Let's Go are going to be huge. Smash Brothers is going to be huge as well. And I think spring will sort of be an interesting thing to see when we start getting some concrete release dates for games releasing in the spring to see if Nintendo is able to get, you know, more presence in the marketplace. But I definitely think 15 million is a bit of a stretch. I think 10 million is definitely very, very feasible. I think they could do that pretty easily this holiday season. So I foresee it being at about 15 million total for the fiscal year 2018, which 
would be 5 million shy of that number. And now, is that necessarily a bad thing? Does that mean that the Switch is failing or anything? No, it's perfectly fine. If anything, I'm sort of happy they didn't hit that 20 million or that it doesn't look like they will hit that 20 million because basically what that's going to force Nintendo to do is, is focus more on the Nintendo Switch and try different things and try to improve things to get those sales figures up to where they would want them to be. Obviously, the Nintendo Switch is doing very well. Could it have done 20 million in the physical year? Yes. Could it still potentially do that? Yes. But if it doesn't, that's still okay. You know, a little panic, a little worry sometimes breeds the best in people. So I'm definitely fine with this. I think this is potentially a good thing for the Nintendo Switch. If they don't hit that 20 million, maybe bring them back to reality a little bit. So is it the end of the world for the Nintendo Switch? No, not at all. Everything is fine. I think things are going very well for Nintendo. I think they're probably very happy with what they've seen so far this year. And I think 2019 is going to be an even better year for the Nintendo Switch after 2018. So let me know in the comments section down below what you think of all this information. Like I said, I have the full PDF in the description box down below if you want to check out all the nitty gritty stuff, check out some of the other details they talked about. But this was the stuff that was interesting to me and I thought would be interesting to you guys. So let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. As always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.